we are going to find the sine equation for three different graphs together. There are some shortcuts you can use whether or not you're given the formulas. How are you going to find the equation given the graph of a sine function? So the amplitude of this function is going to be half of its total height. This particular one goes down to negative two and up to six. That's a difference of eight and the amplitude is half of that. The amplitude in this case is four. There is a formula max minus min divided by two that you might be given. Six minus negative two is eight. Divided by two is four. The amplitude's four. I should note that all the letters I'm using here, A for amplitude, K for a horizontal stretch or compression, C for a horizontal or phase shift, and D for a vertical shift. These are the numbers we use in Can these are the letters we use in Canada. The formulas are the same no matter what. The K value, you're going to need the period of the function. The way that I personally like finding the period is to find two maximums and then seeing how far, far apart those are horizontally. Now this doesn't actually show me a second maximum, so I'm gonna to have to go to minimums instead. I've got one here at negative 240 and another one at positive 480. I need to figure out how far apart those are. Uh, I don't particularly wanna do that in my head. 480 minus negative 240 gives me 720 degrees. So my K is 360 over 720. I can do that in my head. You can write 360 over 720 and then use your calculator to simplify it. I know it's just a half. Great, and it's wider than our normal sine function, which normally only is 360 degrees wide, so it should be a fraction number. Great. The vertical shift, the D value here, is the average of the max and min. You take six and negative two and you add them together and divide by two. 6 plus negative 2 is 4, divided by 2 is positive 2. You'll also note that that's the vertical middle of the graph. You go 4 above it and 4 below it to get to your max and min. Now the phase shift is the toughest bit. If you're asked for this phase shift of a sine function, your job is to find a point on the curve where you're at the d value, a height of 2, in this case it's two, and on your way up as you go from left to right. Don't pick this number because it is two and going downward. You have to be going upward if you don't want to have to worry about reflections. So positive two is going upward here and the x value is negative 60, which means the c or the phase shift is 60 degrees to the left. Do you know what that means? Some people will write negative 60 here. But what actually matters is that you flip its sign when you put it into the formula. Let's put these together. The equation for this is four sine, k goes next, that's one half. The phase shift is 60 left, which means I have to do plus 60 degrees. And then my d value is two, so I write plus two here as well. There's my equation and it all came from points on the graph. Let's do it again, let's dance, buddy. All right, the, uh, what do we start with? I like starting with amplitude, sure. The amplitude is max four minus min negative six divided by two. Shall I write that out for you? Max minus min divided by two. 10 divided by two is five. My amplitude's five, beauty. My D, the vertical middle, is the, actually the same formula but with plus between them instead. Four plus negative six divided by two. That gives me negative one. Again, that's the vertical middle of negative one and it goes five above and five below. That makes sense, I like it, I like it. The K value, you're gonna need 360 degrees divided by however far apart the max and the two maxes are. This starts at zero and the next max is here at 480. So this is 360 over 480. I don't know what that reduces to. Maybe you do, but I'm gonna use a calculator, 360 over 480, and it'll reduce the fraction for me. It says here three quarters. 
It's not a conventional K, but that's okay. Ha ha ha. Now, we also need the phase shift, so we look for where we're at our middle of negative one, and on our way up. Here's negative one, we're going down here, and come back up. This point will work, that's 360 degrees to the right. That's usually positive 360, but it means negative 360 in the formula. Now, you don't have to use that point, you can also have used this point, it does not matter because you're at a height of negative one and you're going up on the way there. Long story short, put these together. Y equals amplitude sin K, that's three quarters, open bracket X, phase shift to the right means minus 360 degrees, and the vertical shift of down one here is minus one in the formula. Beauty, we're getting faster and we're getting better. Here, the amplitude is max eight minus min four, all divided by two. When I do that, I get two. The D value is max plus min divided by two. 12 divided by two is six. Yes, the middle is six and it goes two above and two below it. I like it. The K value depends on how wide the curve is. Maximum here at 60. Next maximum's over here at 300. That's a difference of 240. I'm gonna reduce that on the calculator as well. 360 over 240 is three halves, apparently, or 1.5. I like fractions, I'll use three halves. And my phase shift, I need to find where we're at our middle. That's six and on our way up. Oh, zero works really well for that. You could also use 240 to the right. You could also use 480 to the right. You could also use 720 to the right. All of these are valid answers. I'm gonna use zero because it's easy. Filling this in, y equals amplitude, two, sine of k, three halves. X minus phase shift, oh, there is no phase shift, so I don't even need these brackets here around the X, oh well. And then the vertical shift of up six gets plastered in there, done. So, if you're comfortable with these formulas and with the general building of this equation, you should be able to rattle these out. We just did three of them in eight minutes, it's less than three minutes each. Hopefully your homework flies by. Best of luck.